hey guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here welcome my name is Bree. if you don't know who i am already or you haven't seen my face around i'm a la based freelance makeup artist as well as a beauty creator content creator whatever you want to call it and then i also own my small business her name studios all socials are linked in the description box down below if all things makeup and fashion accessories etc are your vibe you're in the right place girl and subscribe down below and let's get right into the video i look like a hot ass mess for my primer i'm gonna be taking the wet n wild correct glass skin I'm also using the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Primer. This is one of my favorite primers just to get my skin tacky for that skin tint and CC cream that I'm going to be using. I'm going to put extra clips because my hair bothers me so bad. There is one thing that I think is a key factor in a non cakey base and that is the sprays and fixing sprays that you're using to set fix and prep for your makeup you're gonna want a long lasting fixing spray or setting spray it doesn't matter what it is whatever to your liking i like both but what i like to do during my entire foundation process is spraying in between it really helps melt the products down and just soak into the skin and make it look skin like and it just gives you that appearance of fresh dewy skin that is the no cakey like foundation routine that i personally like i like a dewy skin but also a very matte under eye years i was using fix plus from mac i still till this day really like that spray but rare beauty has one i've been talking about and it's literally just as good for setting sprays i like to use something that has a little bit of a like mattifying finish to natural finish i really love the milani setting sprays okay i love the make it last 16 hour spray and then i also like the dewy spray that they have although the dewy spray is a little bit too glowy for me since i'm already using glowy products so i would recommend the make it last regular natural finish alcohol is the third ingredient in this product but I know this is why I kind of stopped using it, but I only use it at the end of my makeup routine just to lock everything in with the alcohol being in this product. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want to feel any sort of way with the alcohol, don't use this. The alcohol actually does help make your makeup last longer and it also helps prevent smudging or any like movement. So after I prep with those base products, those are like my primers that I like, I already moisturized and everything before the video but i am going to be going in with two of my favorite concealers incognito mega last from wet n wild the fit me concealer by maybelline i love this one and i also highly recommend the incognito from wet n wild this is like the shape tape but better no creasing no smudging no heavy cakey feeling but it is $4.99 at Ulta. I've actually seen it for $3.99 at Target, but this concealer is one of the most full coverage concealers that I have ever freaking used from the drugstore, and I am so in love with it. I've put many people onto this too, and y'all have all said the same thing. I also really love the Fit Me one from Maybelline. This one is like one of the OG ones that I've been using since high school, and I swear by it, guys. It's so creamy. It reminds me a lot of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, but for a major chunk of the price. I like to just apply my full coverage concealer in the places where I want more coverage, then I will top it off with a skin tint. And that's the key, guys, to like that non-cakey full coverage makeup is the concealer being fullest coverage it could be. I myself not only like make makeup tutorials, but I watch a lot of makeup tutorials and in everyone's experience here just playing with the products knowing the products learning the products everyone including myself have all said the same thing that the key to a flawless non-cakey makeup base is the concealer really i just like to dab it out and i use a bh brush or just any brush that has like a more of a dense end i love the ones from morphe there's a lot that they offer this one is just very soft and it fits perfectly under my eye i am obsessed guys i swear if wet n wild made a foundation with this like 
formula, they'd kill the fucking game. It for sure would be flying off the shelves. Like, I can guarantee you that. I'm going to mix my Milani Glow Skin Tint with my e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This has been something that I've been testing out, like, for the last couple weeks. And I fucking love it! Before I did that, though, I just used this alone and I was not a fan. I was not a fan. But with this mixed with the elf you get full coverage you get lightweight and you also get like maximum spf and skincare i've talked about this before on my channel and it does have 29 percent squalene it is a coconut blend mix that milani has in their skin tint and then you do get the spf back with the elf camo cc cream just look at the coverage bitch like this is one side done i love to dab it in with this foundation brush from morphe i've been using this in all of my most recent videos and i am obsessed because like it does kind of like angle out and that is perfect for the foundation like process. Oh, I just love how it like it swoops out. Now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia. This is the cream bronzer. So fucking good. Like it's just so creamy to the point where it melts into your skin looking like skin. And that's what I love about it. This formula for cream blush. I'm taking the Club Paradise Lip and Cheek Tint from Half Cake Makeup. I've been living for like a little orangey moment. Oh, whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna be taking it on my forehead like always. I love that like sun-kissed bronzy look. But guys, this cream fuggy blush! I feel like this is also like perfect back to school makeup. I'm gonna be setting my face with the Juno Blur Powder. As always, I do have a discount code linked in the bio, but you do not have to use it whatsoever. It's just to save you some coin. This powder is one of my favorites right now from Juno & Co. They're a California-based brand. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. My brush into the powder. The powder has a cushion right here that helps control how much product you're actually getting on your brush which i love i think that's so innovative that's very helpful too like i don't always want to pour powder out into the little lid because it makes a mess i'm so happy that i found this because literally what the fuck come on juno blur just look at how it blurs out my under eyes i'm gonna also top it on top of my cream blush and bronzer look at that i don't understand how we can go from this to this but we do it like just look at the difference I'm obviously going to add more powders as we go along, but I just want to show you guys how it looks like right now. So I like to stay matte under my eyes for sure, a little bit in my um, cheek areas because I do apply more powders on top of my cream, so that for sure has to be set. And then the center of my face, like my forehead, this area, my brows even. I'll put some translucent powder on my brows to soften the brow look. And then I will also apply some on my chin and around my mouth. To top off my cream bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Fenty. This is the Sunstalker bronzer. This is in the shade Island Tea. It's one of my favorite bronzers. Fenty has such a good formula as far as like their powders and their compacts go. Honestly, Fenty is just fire in general. Actually, one of like the first um makeup products though that i've actually tried from fenty and i fell in love i never went back then to top off my blush i'm taking the powerpuff girl x ColourPop collaboration the beautiful coral pinkish also with the orange tones kind of blush a little, a little vibrant salmon moment like if if you got like the freshest cut salmon of the day now i'm going over it with some translucent powder to soften it up a little bit but this is the color that i want to give bitch because i'm obsessed now I'm going to be spraying my Rare Beauty spray once again, and I'm also going to be spraying a Milani Make It Last setting spray. Ooh. One thing I love about this freaking spray nozzle is that it has like a powerful spray, but it's an all-over mist. It's literally so perfect. I'm just taking my original powder brush, and I'm just very lightly tapping everywhere where that spray caught the makeup. I'm actually going to be going in with some lip liner in the shade Honeymoon from Morphe. Moon is your lips but better shade. Guys, ugh, I kind of wish that they made one that's in between Honeymoon and Guide Me for that like perfect lip, but it's okay. I will mix them. I'm going to be taking Guide Me from Morphe also, just relining the Fenty Heat Plumping Gloss on top of this. Oh god, guys. I love Fenty. And I know, and I really like how it looks. It looks very on point glowy, 
but i feel like just being that bitch today and topping it off with what a brat from fenty guys uh at one one point in time i was only wearing this like on my cheeks for so long and i hit pan and i didn't want to go and waste her and buy another one so my like cheapness uh i, I preserved her for a long time i didn't use her because i didn't want to have to spend more money on another one but I think it might be time. Um, this one is like one of my like prized possession highlighters. So I would never like anytime I had something like limited edition or like prized possession, something that was like exclusive or something that I thought would sell out, I would not use it for a long time to preserve it. But I need to get out of that like fear and phobia. They are keeping her and she's here to stay. But look at this fucking kilowatt. I haven't put a highlight on in such a long time. But guys, are we living? I'm living. That last step is obviously optional, but this is my glass skin look your skin but better thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed videos like this or you want to see more like this let me know in the comments down below so that way i know what you guys are interested in and looking forward to watching trust me if you guys use this base your makeup will stay in place all day long make sure to tune in on friday for my next video i'm adding in a friday into my schedule so i will have a new video schedule wednesday friday sunday so this friday i will be filming my walmart haul guys are excited for that don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload i love you guys so much and i'll see you friday